Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sylvia Parui, Assistant Professor of Community Medicine Department at the Nakits Medical College, Khulna. Today we start the dynamics of disease transmission in infectious disease epidemiology. Communicable diseases are transmitted from the reservoir or source of infection to susceptible host. This is uh, dynamics of disease transmission that from source to susceptible host there are mode of transmission several types the term also the reservoir and source are not always synonymous for example in hookworm infection the reservoir is man but the source of infection is the soil contaminated with infective larva so we understand the source and reservoir not always synonymous the source of infection is defined as the person animal object or substance from which an infectious agent passes or is disseminated to the host a reservoir is defined as any person animal arthropod plant soil or substance or combination of these in which an infectious agent lives and multiplies the reservoir may be of three types human reservoir animal reservoir and reservoir in non living things now we like to know what is cases a case is defined as a person in the population or study group identified as having the particular disease health disorder or condition under investigation broadly the presence of infection in a host may be clinical subclinical or latent case also three types primary case index case secondary case the term primary case refers to the first case of a communicable disease introduced into the population unit being studied the term index case refers to the first case to come to the attention of the investigator or doctor it is not always the primary case and secondary case are those developing from contact with primary case now we see what is carrier a carrier is defined as an infected person or animal that harbors a specific infectious agent in the absence of discernible clinical disease and serves as a potential source of infection for others the elements in a carrier state are the presence in the body of the disease agent the absence or recognizable symptoms and sign of disease and the shedding of the disease agent in the discharges or excretions thus acting as a source of infection for other persons carrier classified as below by type incubatory convalescent and healthy by duration temporary and chronic carrier and by the portal of exit it may classified as urinary intestinal respiratory carrier and others now we have to know mode of transmission mode of transmission also two types direct transmission and indirect transmission in direct transmission show direct contact droplet infection contact with soil inoculation into skin or mucosa or transplacental from transplacental means from mother to fetus and indirect transmission show vehicle born vector born vector born like two types mechanical and biological then air born air born also droplet nuclei and dust through fomite born and unclean hands and fingers this is indirect transmission of disease agent now we have to know the incubation what is incubation period the time interval between invasion by an infectious agent and appearance of the first sign or symptoms of the disease in question the term latent period is used in non infectious diseases like cardiovascular disease as the equivalent of incubation period in infectious or communicable disease latent period has been defined as the period from disease initiation to disease detection so incubation period is of fundamental importance in epidemiological studies that is why 
at first chasing the source of infection and contacts secondly period of surveillance incubation period is useful in determining the period of surveillance or quarantine which may be advised then immune for immunization then identification of point source or propagated epidemics then to know prognosis of disease incubation period also important now we like to know generation time it is defined as the interval of time between receipt of infection by a host and maximal infectivity of that host difference is that the term incubation period can only be applied to infections that result in manifest disease whereas generation time refers to transmission of infection whether clinical or subclinical now we go to see communicable period the time during which an infectious agent may be transferred directly or indirectly from an infected person to another person from an infected animal to man or from an infected person to an animal including arthropods that is communicable period secondary attack rate secondary attack rate the number of exposed persons developing the disease within the range of the incubation period following exposure to the primary case now we disease prevention and control broadly these are measures reservoir or source of infection control then route of transmission control then susceptible host or people at risk to control first controlling the reservoir how to control the reservoir firstly early diagnosis then notification under the international health regulation ihr certain prescribed diseases are notified by the national health authority to who world health organization these can be divided into those diseases subject to international health regulations cholera plague and yellow fever then diseases under surveillance by world health organization louse born typhus fever relapsing fever paralytic polio malaria viral influenza sars smallpox etc third epidemiological investigation and then isolation isolation means separation for the period of communicability of infected persons or animals from others in such places and under such conditions as to prevent or limit the direct or indirect transmission of the infectious agent from those infected to those who are susceptible or who may spread the agent to others then go for treatment then quarantine quarantine what is quarantine the limitation of freedom of movement of such well persons or domestic animals exposed to communicable disease for a period of time not longer than the longest usual incubation period of the disease in such manner as to prevent effective contact with those not so exposed then prevent transmission interruption of transmission a major aspect of communicable disease control related to breaking the chain of transmission or interruption of transmission how it's by environmental control sanitation or personal hygiene maintain then go for control of susceptible host the third link in the chain of transmission is the susceptible host or people at risk they may be protected by one or more of the following strategies that active immunization passive immunization or combined immunization chemo prophylaxis or non specific measures that health education they are most important measures to control the susceptible host and advise them about the communicable disease transmission that is all for epidemiology in our lecture thank you everybody